Welcome back to Midcrime Medical and today we should be covering research methodologies and the classification of research. In today's tutorial we shall be covering the basic definition of research methodology, the differences between research methodology and the research methods and also we cover on the classification of research. Let's start by defining what is research methodology. A research methodology is a specific procedure or technique that is used in the identification, selection, processing and analysis of information about a given topic and study. A research methodology barely follows a specific scientific principles of research and we can also define it as a science of study on how research is done systematically. In other words, the methodology section of research answers two main questions. How was the data collected or generated and how was it analyzed? Sometimes you might be confused between research methodology and research methods. Research methodology and research methods are two distinctly different things. Let's look at the differences between research methodology and the research methods. Research methodology, by definition, is a theoretical aspect on how research should be undertaken or carried out. Research methodology is a systematic way of solving a problem. In other words, it is a science of studying how research is to be carried out. Essentially, the procedures by which a researcher go about the work of describing, explaining, and predicting a phenomena are the ones that we call research methodology. We can also define research methodology as a study of methods by which knowledge is gained and its aim is to give the work plan of a research. And lastly, research methodology usually seeks to answer a question how did the researcher complete his study? On the other hand, Research methods or research design are various procedures, schemes or steps and algorithms that are used in carrying out research. So when differentiating between research methodology and research methods, we say research methodology is a theoretical aspect on how to conduct research, but a research method is a procedure, a scheme or a step that is used in conducting research. All methods that are used by a researcher during all methods that are used by a researcher when conducting a research study are the ones that are known as research methods. And in this case, they are essentially planned, scientific, and value neutral. These methods include observations, theoretical procedures, experimental studies, numerical schemes, and statistical approaches. These research methods are the ones that help us collect samples, data, and also to help us find a solution to this problem and study. A research method is a subset of research methodology. And to say that, a research method usually seeks to answer what did the researcher use to complete his research when compared to a research methodology which answers how did the researcher complete his study. Okay, having understood that, let's move next to classify research. We can classify research into eight types of research. And in this case, let's have a look at a basic research and then applied research. A basic research is the one that aims to develop knowledge theory, or a prediction, while an applied research aims to develop a technique, a product, and a procedure to a given problem. What is a basic research? A basic research is used to expand an existing knowledge. This basic research results in universal principles on processes and its relations to a given outcome and the findings are usually significant and have a value to the society. A basic research can also be defined as a study of methods by which knowledge is gained 
and its aim is to give a work plan of a given. This is a type of research that is used to expand an already existing knowledge. On the other hand, an applied research is a, is a type of research that is carried to improve the understanding of a problem that is being faced by a community or a given company. So, applied research usually results to a solution of the existing problem and study. And findings of applied research have practical relevance and are valuable for management and solution of this existing problem that is being studied. So, in other words, applied research is usually focused on a particular objective. Research can also be classified as either explanatory or exploratory. Exploratory research aims to explore the main aspects of under-researched problem. While on the other hand, an explanatory research is to explain the causes and the consequence of a well-defined problem. At this time, you have already found a given problem and you are trying to explain what are the causes of this problem and the consequences of this problem that has been found out. That is an explanatory research. Another type of research is an inductive research. An inductive research is the one that aims to develop a given theory. But a deductive research tests that theory. Another type of research is a qualitative research and a quantitative research. A qualitative research focuses on words and meaning but a quantitative is the one that focuses on numbers in quantity and statistics. Therefore, qualitative looks at the quality of research by focusing on the words and the meanings of those research. And a quantitative research focuses on the quantity. And lastly, you can classify research as either descriptive or experimental research. A descriptive research gathers data without controlling any variables. You are trying to describe but an experimental research manipulates and controls variables to determine the cause and the effect. In experimental research, like its name, it's an experiment to be done. So you're controlling the variables and trying to find out the cause and the effect.